Morning everybody, happy Saturday. <laughs> well today I've got a real mixed bag for you. Um, I was going to do it, I've bought some uh, Zara perfumes in the sale, um, some of them are for presents, uh, but I wanted to show you them because they're excellent dupes. Anyway, I haven't really got time to do the research on those to find out what they're actually dupes of, um, because uh, my daughter and son-in-law contacted me this morning so I didn't want to go out f to live them with them for lunch well I thought about it because I hadn't re you know I'd been I'd just come off all my antibiotics and I feel fine now um but I thought oh I don't want to push it but anyway they persuaded me and I went and I had a lovely time. We had a lovely walk around Lytham and then we went for lunch at the Queen's. Anyway, I did take some footage. I didn't vlog too long because, you know, <laughs> it's awkward when you're with other people and embarrassing and people don't want the intrusion really. Um, but I have taken some footage, so I'll show you some of that, mainly of Lowther Gardens um, in Lytham, um, which is a lovely place with a theatre um anyway you'll see it in the footage and then um what else i've got to show you is when it was my son's wedding um my cousin came down to stay with me and the when we were at the he had his reception at the cartford inn uh which is oh it's a beautiful restaurant um not far from here and they have a lot of um the glassware, you know, from um, John Ditchfield. I've shown it you before, little pl uh, pieces uh, that I had. Um, um, it's like a local glass blower. He's very famous. He makes absolutely beautiful, beautiful pieces. Um, and it's, it's based around here. Uh, anyway, my cousin was really made up with them them because they had some at the uh, where the reception was. They had some pieces there. So I said I'd take him um, and I just thought I'd vlog for you because when I showed you the pieces that I had, um, which have all been bought for me, um, I I did say I'd try and take you around his showroom. Um, it's just on the outskirts of Poultonly Filed, really. Blackpool Poulton. You probably, if you came into Blackpool, um, and he came off at Kirkham, you probably remember seeing he's got a big uh, glass construction in a field that he's made. Uh, absolutely spectacular. It's, uh, how it survived all the winds, I do not know. Um, but anyway, it's like where he blows the glass. Um, I'll tell you a bit about him when I get to that bit of the video. Um, but um, anyway, we went round and my cousin did buy some pieces. But I'll just quickly show you the pieces I've got um, before before I get onto there, because I'll just film it, uh, just show you the filming of it and just do a voiceover. Now, the first two pieces that I got were these two apples. They're so tactile, absolutely beautiful. There was a larger apple um, in this colour and design, and I always wished I'd got that as well. But I didn't, you know, I've had these. Well, actually, I'm saying I've had them a long time. My late husband bought me them for a wedding anniversary one year. Uh, we just went on our wedding anniversary and he said, would you like those? Really heavy, real solid glass. Absolutely beautiful. The colour, the luster on them is magnificent. And then I bought myself at one time a little mushroom. Isn't that lovely? absolutely gorgeous they're so tactile you know it's it's all handmade like like venetian glass i think i'm sure he trained in venice um i'll read you a bit because he's got um is there's a leaflet that i'll read you some if he doesn't mind me reading from it um i did ask for permission to to do the, the filming and then this is what my son bought me this vase, which I don't put any flowers in. He bought me that for my 70th birthday. I'm not sure, but I, I absolutely love it. It's beautiful. And I have all these on my fireplace. So anyway, that's later on in the video. First of all, I'm going to um, just show you a few things that I bought this week, my buys of the week. Um, so, um, I've done a little bit of a Marks and Spencer's haul. Uh, it's a coronation haul. It's not much of one, really. But I'll ju I just wanted to show you what I got because I thought they were really good. Now, first of all, I got two lots of this bunting. 
Now, I think this is really good. It's for the coronation, obviously. Um, and it, it's quite thick cloth. Now, I thought I bought bunting, you know, for all the events that we've had over the past few years. and But I thought this was good because you can use it again. It's really good quality. Um, it's, was it, how many metres was it? Just let me check how many metres it is. It's three metres. It's 20 flags um, along three metres with 15 centimetre ties at each end. And that is seven pound. I'm really pleased with it. I bought two. I bought two for Coronation Day. <laughs> so the other things I bought, just two more things from Marks and Spencers. Um, well, I bought two of these, and these are a lovely Coronation mug. I don't know if you can see. They've got like, um, how's the, is that House of Parliament? Buckingham Palace, I think. And the Beef Eaters. Hot air balloon. I don't really know where that comes in, but it's Union Jack colours. Um, and I just thought they were nice. I bought two of those. And then the final thing I bought. I don't know why I've bought this, but I did. It's a coronation candle. Who has a coronation candle? But there you are. And this was £10. I'm going a bit coronation crazy, aren't I? So that's very pretty. That was £10. If they don't sell them all, they were selling them all after the coronation, won't they? So I bought those from Marks and Spencers. So I'll put these back. I'm really pleased with the bunting more than anything. And then I did a treat of myself. <laughs> and I bought, I'm very gullible when I see things. And I saw, I was reading online about, um, you know, I love rituals, absolutely love rituals. And they've brought out um, a new fragrance. Um, I just have to read you this. This is a box that the rituals came in and it says, happiness can be found in the smallest of things. And they said, it is our passion to turn everyday routines into more beautiful, meaningful moments. Your body, your soul, your rituals. Clean, conscious and caring. So, you know how I love, um, I'm always telling you I love the shower gel. Well, funnily enough, I've run out. Um, but I would have just used a cheaper shower gel. But this is a new fragrance. Now, I love um, rose fragrance. And it's called Maguna. And it's rose Damascus and prickly pear. And that's a flowering sherry gel, uh, oh, sherry gel, shower gel. I've not been gifted these or anything. I've bought them. But I just thought I'd show you them. It, it is a new fragrance. And then I got uh, the Body Mousse to Oil. Now, this is lovely. I've had a little try of this, but I wouldn't say it gives you an oil finish. It, it just feels very nice on your skin. But it's not oily, you know, even though it says oil. And then I bought the body cream as well. The body cream with vitamin E. I always think, can you see inside how much smaller the pot is with the actual um, cream in? Oh, it's got a thing on. I've not used it yet. Let's open it and smell it. It, it smells lovely. I didn't... Oh, it, it's lovely. Oh, they divine their... Um... I just wish they weren't as expensive as well. <laughs> but they are lovely. worth the luxury so i bought the body cream as well and then i got two free gifts with it which was a little um small it's um how many mils it 50 mil shower foaming um mousse which will be good if you're going away i should keep that when i'm going away and then this um is a little wash set now much as i love it i don't think i would spend that amount of money on my washing products but some people do but this was free so there's a small detergent a small scent booster softener and a refreshing spray which i'll probably spray on my bedding actually these would be nice if you were going on holiday and you wanted to wash while you were on holiday who washes on holiday but that's the refreshing spray that's the detergent and that's the scent booster i suppose it gives you a chance to try them 
it, 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 this is, what fragrance is this? Rice milk with cherry. Oh, I like that one, rice milk with cherry. Cherry blossom. So I'll put those back in there. So I got those free. So I just thought I'd tell you about that. I bought them from the Rituals website. What I did notice on the Rituals website when I went on was that they do have um, an outlet on there. Um, so, you know, I, it was after I'd ordered these or I may have ordered some shower gels from there because they were, they were quite a few pounds cheaper. But you always find out these things too late. Anyway, that's as much as what I'm going to do for this video because it's going to be too long otherwise. I will come back with my Zara Dukes perfume one. I just want to research a little bit more of um, what, the, what they're actually dupes for. Um, I know what most of them are, but not all of them. Excuse me, I had hair in my mouth. So sit back now and watch uh, Lowther Gardens at, the Gardens at Lytham and also... Um, where you'll see the Bobby Ball statue, they've created the Bobby Ball statue there, and also uh, John Ditchfield, the glass factory at John Ditchfield. Okay, so I'll see you later, bye. So here we are at Lowther Gardens on this lovely, lovely sunny day. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I've, I've been to Lowther Gardens before, but I've never actually walked through the gardens, and I was surprised at how lovely they are. There's a statue there, like, it looks like it's made out of straw or something. Wood, I think. These were absolutely full of hyacinths. We actually took May, uh, Mabel with us, but not Betsy, because it's too far for Betsy to walk uh, where we were walking. Um, so uh, Betsy stayed at home with my son. The, the flower beds are full of hyacinths and the fragrance was absolutely beautiful. There's lots of memorial benches, as you can see, as we walk down here. Such pretty flowers. Hyacinths are one of my favourite flowers. I didn't realise, because um, obviously most of the time I've been to the theatre at Lowther because there is a lovely theatre here, but I didn't realise there was so much in the grounds. Um, there's this lovely, uh, we're just approaching now, a lovely... Um, it's, well, it's like a, a pond, I suppose. It's, it, I wouldn't say it was a lake, but it's so uh, absolutely lovely. And it's full, absolutely full of water lilies. When they're flowering, it'll be quite spectacular. And then there was this lovely sculpture in the middle, like a water feature. Um, it was really nice, actually. Very unusual. Can you see? was really tranquil. There was tennis courts over there. I don't know if you saw them. I didn't realise that there's tennis courts and bowling greens here. There's the tennis courts. It was lovely to see people playing, you know, because there was quite a lot of people playing. It was such a sunny day. And then that's the theatre and there's a, a nice cafe there. I've been to the theatre on many occasions there. It's a lovely little theatre. We're now approaching, uh, this statue has recently been unveiled. Um, it was uh, raised by, it, it was a fundraiser for uh, raising money for it, for uh, Bobby Ball. It, it was a, a very uh, well-respected local celebrity, you know, from the Cannon and Ball. Um, and um, it did an awful lot for charity. Uh, so everyone felt it fitting to have um, a statue of him in Lytham Gardens, in the Lowther Gardens. 
And you know, it's such a good likeness. I don't know who's done the statue, but it's really, really good. It's very good. Seems to be the thing now, doesn't it? Having statues of celebrities. Um, but it is really nice. Lovely for the family as well. Now we're moving towards, um, it, it's right on the promenade, right on the front, um, the Lowther Pavilion, as I call it, you know, the Lowther Gardens. So we're just heading out now towards the front and we're going to head up towards uh, the Queen's uh, for where we're having our lunch. Look at the lovely flower beds. The tulips are just coming to an end now. There's this lovely green at the front on Lytham, can you see? Uh, this green stretches all the way down, it's beautiful. And at one end there's the windmill, Lytham windmill, I don't know, you, can, you won't be able to see it just yet, but you will see it shortly. This is the Queen's Hotel where we're having lunch. There, can you just see the windmill in the distance? It was a very nice lunch, actually. I had Caesar salad. There's the windmill, Lytham windmill. And that was my lunch, it was very nice, really nice. So here we are at um, John Ditchfield Glass. This It's called Glass Form Studio. Um, it's on a 30 acre farm just outside Blackpool, near, it's Singleton near um, Blackpool. Um, the, the glass is absolutely spectacular and it's been sold all over the world uh, and it's been shown in top galleries, um, it's stocked by um, Harrods and Liberties, um, it's really really beautiful, um, it, it's classed as the antique of the future. Um, I, I've got the, uh, the leaflet here and um, I'll, I'll try and read you some of the things from the leaflet. Um, it said in the workshop the main furnace glows 24 hours a day seven days a week um, and seeing John and the other glass bowers work is an experience you'll never forget and it says visitors can watch from a safe viewing area now when we went um, they had finished um, the glass blowing for the day um, and the lady very kindly explained to us that you know with the cost of um, fuel at the moment um, they're not actually um, having the furnaces on for 24 hours a day so sadly we missed that but if I ever go again and they are doing that I will try and film that for you um, it, it sort of tells you on the leaflet about how he, he trained he's trained all over Europe um, you know with very famous um, glass blowers and, and artists glass artists um, and it says that um, well I told you that he's um, glassware sold in Harrods and Liberties and it said uh, and also Neiman Marcus in USA, CK Tang of Singapore and Ditton of Switzerland um, and I know it has been on the Antiques Roadshow oh no what yeah including the Antiques Roadshow on Bargain Hunt um, where people have, um, have brought it in you know and they've always said it's the antique of the future now um, he does have some some. There are some um, 
although some of the glass is expensive he does have some pieces in his showroom that are very very affordable um so you can see how beautiful just look at it's all stunning it's very very unique I really love the finish on it. You know, it's like, a, well, I don't know what you call it, like an iridescent oil type um, finish. It is beautiful. Very, very artistic. I mean, I would think that to get a really nice piece, uh, particularly a signed piece, some of the pieces are signed, um, would be an investment. Anyway, my cousins, um, my, well, it's my cousin and her husband, they were really made up with it. And they bought a set of three apples. I'll show you them in a moment. Um, can you see those green apples there? I always wished I got the large pink apple when I got mine, but I didn't. I think the blue ones are lovely there as well. It really is worth a trip. Oh, that's a pink one that I've got, like a pinky purple. Well, they got the green ones. They're lovely. I think the three-piece set for the three apples, um, <coughs> and I'm not sure about the larger one, but the two smaller ones are just solid glass, absolutely beautiful, was £140. But they do have smaller things like i'm just uh, are they here now um just let me see oh yeah can you see these are little ring stands uh made you know for you to keep your rings on and they were 18 pound and i thought what a lovely gift for someone something really unique and you can call in the studio if you're passing um anytime you know it does tell you if you go on the website which is i think it's www.glassform i'll put the details in the description box it tells you there uh when it's open and everything and i actually think you can purchase some things from the website I'm not being sponsored for this. I just think it's such beautiful, beautiful glassware. It's so nice for you to see it. These pieces, those mushrooms, they've got like little silver fairies and that on the top. Absolutely gorgeous. I suppose they're like Christmas decorations. Very extravagant, but beautiful. And, you know, if you're passing, you can go in and just look round. Nobody bothers you. It's really, really nice. It's like a hidden gem, really. The lamps are beautiful, aren't they? Wouldn't you just love one of those? That's my cousin and her husband there, just looking at them all.
uh, we've now gone into the works, which is next door, and this show, this is where they blow all and, and create all the glass. Um, sadly, they weren't working the day that we went. They'd, uh, they had been working in the morning, but they'd finished in the afternoon. But you can see where it all, all is. And if I ever go again and they're actually working, I will take some video footage, um, if, you know, if they agree to it. Um, I did ask permission for this. Uh, and the lady did say it was all right as long as it was my own channel. So thank you to Glassform for letting me film there. And if you're in the area, pay a visit to Glassform and, and see John Ditchfield's beautiful, beautiful glass. It's stunning. It really is. And I'll put the details in the description box of their website so you can go and take a look. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I know it was a bit of a long video, but it was a bit different, wasn't it? I hope you weren't too bored. Um, so I'll see you in my next video. I'm not sure when that'll be, but probably not too long. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, you know what I'm going to say. I'd love you to subscribe. And if you like it, please tick that like button and ring that bell. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.